In this video, I want to show the difference in timers, uh, whether it be a, uh, a TON, a TOF, or a RTO. And this would be still using the uh, Emulation 5000 or 5000 Emulation chassis. Uh, again, we're in slot Z or slot one, and that's corresponding down here. Uh, we're version 20, and we're still using the emulated software on version 20. We are using the uh, periodic task. Currently, we're, we're in the uh, the task is uh, 201 milliseconds. So we'll just start off by showing uh, basically the uh, something simple, right? So we'll add a program or a routine, I should say. Just put timer timer example. And then we'll come in our main, which is what we're in right now, and we'll add our JSR. Now, now that our JSR is in, we'll go ahead and assemble that. And now we have our timer example where it's able to be scanned in the program. So, now to show uh, the basic uh, TON. So, what we'll do is we'll We'll do a, a, a small flasher example. And this is using two timers. So basically you'll have uh, you'll have one timer on and one timer and one timer off. So we'll say flasher timer one. And we'll put it at two milliseconds or uh, two seconds. I'm sorry. So put that in there, and we'll put this as two. And then we'll put in basically uh, different from one another. Basically, so it, you'll have one down in the, the control of number two, and, and two controlling number one. And we'll put this again at two seconds. So showing this, uh, every time it gets done, or every time number one, a uh, flasher timer one gets done, it indexes flasher timer two. And so you could really use this bit right here to control something if you wanted to, like say for instance, say uh, beacon light or something you know it, if you wanted to control the beacon light so if you want to control the beacon lights you could do that and it's you know pretty simple on and off you know if you had a fault or something you could put it above that you know and if the fault was active then basically it would, would cut that on so that's, that's basically a representation of a, a timer on. If the timer is on, if they are indicated to be on, it's being used. In the same reference, we can do a timer off, which is a TOF. So we'll say uh, timer off example. And then again, we'll put this at two, actually let's put this at one second. And then we'll put, if the beacon light is off for one second, so we'll kind of feed off the first timer. So you see that if the beacon light cuts on, then it's okay. Then the done, done the done bit of the TOF is, is actuated. But if the timer goes off, then it waits one second before dropping the done bit. So if you use the done bit to do something, say for instance, if you use the done bit for this, 
similar to what we did on the other timer to control say for instance uh, just let's just call this a horn or something just to, to kind of give an illustration so at that point you basically you would have the beacon cutting on and then you would hold the horn on for another second as soon as the beacon went off. So in to kind of review that a TON, TON, the timer done bit does not come on until the timer has completed the preset value. And then it comes on and, and makes the done bit. And you can use that as however you need to. On the counter side to that, if you have a TOF, then basically the reverse statement happens. So it when it, as soon as it's made, it holds the done bit until the timer preset is done and then it it drops the whole the done bit. So in the representation of that we can have now we can actually add a retentative timer. <clears throat> what we'll do and we'll call this example. and then we'll have three seconds for that. So at any given time, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll use the horn on, just to kind of tie into what we currently have so you can kind of see the way that things work. So you see that the retentative timer, basically what happens with the retentative timer is it times, uh, it only times while it's, it's active and then it drops out. So say for instance we put this at, at a higher number and we also want to put a reset in there. So for a retentative timer you, you actually need to, to be able to reset it. So just put the, the whole tag for the, the retentative timer in the, the, that reset command. And then we'll basically say, once it's done, we want to reset it. Just something simple to give an illustration of, of how this works. Okay, so if you see right here, the timer is going to stop every time the horn stops, right? So the timer's gonna stop and it's not gonna be done until it reaches 10 milliseconds. And then when it reaches 10 milliseconds, it reset itself. So at that portion, again, I could, I could show you that by AFI in that real quick. So if I AFI that and did not let it reset, then you can see basically the timer does not okay so let's reset that one time okay so you see the timer will only time out when the retentative time has finished so it doesn't actually continue timing if the rung or the control bit above in that, that rung is dropped. So it, it basically stops scanning at that point in time. So real quick, this is a, a, a representation of the three different timers, the TON, the TOF, and then the uh, RTO, which is basically a, a timer on, a timer off, and then a retentative timer. Just keep in mind that with a retentative timer, you do need to have a reset. So in some kind of form or fashion, you need to be able to reset that timer. Uh, in a timer off or a timer on, you do not have to reset it. Although you can, you do not have to. Um, 
most of the time it's just that it's a free running and it makes or breaks within the whatever you're using for as far as the control aspect. So uh, just to kind of go over that, that's the three basic basic timers that we have um, in ladder logic, and uh, they coincide coincide with uh, you know you have a, the similar instances in, in function block and, and stuff like that, but in structured text. But uh, they're again they're a little bit different. So we'll, we'll kind of go. I, I went over that slightly in a different video, but we'll go over that again um, in another video. So real quick, uh, this was a timer on, timer off, and a, and a retentive timer. So I hope you, you know, got something out of this. And uh, if you want to see more, you know, just uh, subscribe or watch some of more my other videos I have, and uh, we'll basically uh, pick up. And um, or, or drop me a note, drop me a line in the show notes below or something, a comment, or you can contact me at the in the show notes below. And um, basically, I'll you know I'll make a video on whatever you, you'd like to see if you have an interest in whatever. All right, thank you and um, appreciate your time.